Chris Singleton. I'm John Chomby. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you've got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and starting in this one, Mackenzie Gore. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. All right, ready to go here. Up now for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. The pitch. Oh, That's outside. And we are underway. The pitch. That one finds the zone. And a count one and one. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. Kicks and fires. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Got him. And one ball. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Reese Hoskins, batted with one down, takes a strike. One out, base is empty. even up. Bounced out to short. Abrams whips it across. Two up, two down. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. This has been a good productive lineup so far this year. Currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know, this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean, this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and guys are swinging and missing, going for the fences. But if you can increase that contact rate, you can be a dangerous club. You get more guys on base, and then all of a sudden, when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact. Let the defense work behind it. At the belt and fires. That one lifted to left. Wood makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Back here in Nationals Park. And pitching here today, Freddie Peralta. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible go, job with the runners in scoring game. position. That's Most guys, job. they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of no tough ball. situations and get his team back in the dugout. Yeah, the right-hander deals. And it's even up. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Benny One really ball. sells it's the changeup with that arm action. Oh. And another ball. Two and two. Center field. One away. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. 
Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Juan Yepes in the box now. No balls and a strike. One down, base is empty. Just missed. It's a good take. One and two. Oh. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. That okay. one misses. Counts full, three and two. Stays alive. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Good plate you, appearance mate. there. Able to take the walk. That is good. One down. And now for Washington, James Wood. Right through there for a strike. First one away. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Struck him out swinging. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Swing and he breaks his bat. Hoskins squeezes it. That is the inning. End of one. And we're still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Willie Adamas. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. And a pitch. The shortstop takes a ball. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know, fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Blankenhorn snags it on the run. That is good. The third base. Next for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Second inning here, no score. Bounce to third, Vargas. Over to first, two away now. That is it. The center field, number 16. Two outs, space is empty. Next for the Brewers, Blake Perkins. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. It's through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Got just got one got of those seen-eye base the hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled so, over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And yeah, the batter now, Yo, Sal Freeland. First offering, and it just misses. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here at the top of the second. Foul ball there. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. 
lifted in the air right center field makes the play and it's out number three Brewers strand one we'll go to the bottom of the second no score ready to go for the last half of the inning and now it's Luis Garcia Peralta, a six-foot righty, 195 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That's down and in. What a no. There's the strike of the knees. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. Swing and a miss as he was out front. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name, and uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Two-two down. Lined in the left center, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Anytime you're in the line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. And a foul ball. Now the 01. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2. Kicks and deals. One and two. Garcia aboard here at first with nobody out. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down in the zone, but not too far. I want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's one out the bottom of the second. Well, he hadn't seen that change up the entire bat until that put away no, pitch. Hit him. It's pretty tough to deal with as a hitter. You're up there battling, no. trying to read and react with two strikes, and then all of a sudden the pitch comes out of nowhere, and it's a good changeup. It's just almost impossible to hit it when you haven't seen it. And now here is Alex Call. That's in there. No ball. One strike. one down a little out front there as he swings through it well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider if you're on the mound you just want to expand the zone right now get a swing and miss and get through this at bat the pitch swings and misses struck him out well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Travis Blankenhorn digging in for the Nationals. Looking for his first big league hit right here. And that one clips the corner. Swing and a ball popped up. Adamas brings it in for the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Eric Haas. Eric And the pitch. And there's a ball. Just off the outside edge. And that's ball two. And the pitch. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. And one well away in the top of the third. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Up now for Milwaukee, Andrew Monasterio. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. And oh. ball one. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And now the lefty. Ball two. An elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. So the batting order turns over. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Jackson Chorio. And that one is in for a strike. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Wood makes the catch inning over. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. And we're back. Leading Stepping up, in, Ildemaro Vargas. The third baseman. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. He steps on the bag. And a quick out number one. No number five. Good CJ. So the Nets lineup turns over. Here's the shortstop at the play. CJ Abrams. He's 0 for 1. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. One ball, there. One Still tied at zero. Last of the third. Bounced up the middle. And that one handled. Throws the first in time. And that quickly oh, two away. Showed us right there why he's considered one of the best middle infielders in the sport. Yeah, it's man. always a tough play going up the middle on the backhand. But what really made this play happen was that quick release, smooth exchange, and that was as smooth as it gets. And it had to be with the wheels going down the line. Yeah, Bez. In the box now as he leaves that one up high. Just missed. Ground ball up the middle. Makes a sliding stop. Gathers and throws. Nets go down one, two, three. Nationals go quietly. Still no score.
back in Washington, D.C. Out of the fourth, and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, he's gone ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. No, that ball. one just misses. Really ball. good take, especially with two strikes. that time he should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's wrong here comes a three two that one misses so a lead off walk that's a great at bat he saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bats on a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. The pitch. In for a strike, and the count is one and one. And that one fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. In plenty of time to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Adalis at the plate now. That's ball one. Okay. back our way and that's out of play and he deals and another ball and he kind of swings through that one Second. That one misses. We'll count now. Fourth inning underway. No score. Outside, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth, and that at bat. He to play off some really close pitches, and somehow he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. He's over one. on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. The 0-1. And fouled off. The Brewers with a chance to score first. Top half of inning number four. That's Next pitch is outside. One and two.
Two on, one out. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. Next for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. One for one with a single so far. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. Swings and misses. And it's 0 2. That one missed. adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning back here in Nationals Park here's the left fielder James Wood the wind of the pitch that oh, misses the zone, the and that is ball one. You know, these Nationals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Two balls, one straight. The wind of the pitch. Good ball, eye right ball. there. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And that can be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and laid off batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Fall off foul. And he'll one. And that one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Righty to the plate. Oh. And now one and two. Right hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Second now with nobody out. Now a perfect example right there. That late discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. First and second, no outs. And the batter now, Luis Garcia. And he's already singled in this game. Close, but call the ball. And that's ball one. Left-hand batter waits, and fouled off. And a pitch. Ground ball right side, and it's off the bag! And they get the out after the ricochet. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance yeah, to drive right. in the go-ahead run. Good. It's not a knock, hey, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And now the switch hitting catcher, Hebert Ruiz. Golden opportunity right here. 
This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. One Not ball. even one close strike. there. One and one. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. He's got a base one. open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were set. Hard hit, right side. Now two oh. away as they get a run across. Alex Cole, <laughs> the next to hit, went down that's on that's strikes his first time through. Oh. This one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. And the righty deals. Oh. And another ball. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. That one catches the zone, and it's 2-1 and one now. Two outs and a runner at third. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one fouled off. Two and two. Kicks and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. Great ball. You strike. Travis Blankenhorn in the on-deck circle for the Nats. Payoff pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Righty delivers. Got it. They didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Nationals one and the Brewers nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the right fielder, Sal Fraley. Fraley. And here it comes. And a bunt towards third. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. The catch at number 13. Area. Maybe a little small ball is exactly what the doctor ordered to rev up this offense. And they've been pretty quiet all game. So maybe this wakes them up a bit and helps them get on the board. Next for the Brewers, Eric Haas. 0 for 1 so far. Snap throw to first. Fraley back in standing. There's a strike. first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone at the belt and fires one and two in the dirt but kept close no advance good job behind the dish <laughs> bounce to the right side and it gets by him Fraley got his way to third and now runners at the corners, nobody out. He was definitely laid on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. 
So runners at the corners, nobody out. Andrew Monasterio up now for the Brewers. And that one fouled off. Tying run in scoring position ever at the top of the fifth. And the curve is down and in. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a swing and a miss. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Oh, Missed dude. with a changeup, and the count is two and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. right center field and that'll fall for a base hit throw and it gets away well he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes I think he choked up a little bit maybe spread out but he got the job done right there back to the top of the lineup here's the leadoff man for the Brewers Jackson Chorio puts a bunt down not in time, he legs it out. Well, he's just giving himself up to move two runners in the scoring position right there, but somehow the defense can't get an out anywhere, and this is quickly turning into a golden opportunity for this offense. Base is loaded, nobody out. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball, perhaps on the ground for a double play, or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Haas, the runner at third, Monasterio on second, Chorio at first with no outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Got it! And that is a big first out. And Gary Sanchez at the plate. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Fought off foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The 0-2. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Runner from third into score. And a 2 1 ball game now. Now that So base is loaded with one away. Willie Adamas stands in. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. And fouled off. One ball. One missing low. Action in the pen down there. DJ Hurts looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Barnes getting cranked up as well.
the one two and that's downstairs and outside. Fights it off. You'll see another. One out. Base is full. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strikeout there. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Here's the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. is inside pressures on right here 2 0 count base is loaded you don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on he's got to challenge the hitter right here out to short a dive nice stop from his backside on the money nice play but two runs for him and they jump ahead last half of the fifth coming up it's the brewers two and the nats one Bottom of the inning, Lankenor climbs in on that left side. And there's one thing on his mind, this at bat. Give that first hit at the big league level. And there's the strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Vargas in the box with one away as he takes ball one. to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. The 1-1 is fouled off. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Way okay. high with that one. And it's 2-2. Two and two. Spoils the two-strike pitch and he'll see another. That okay. one misses, and that's ball three. And that's, that's ball high. four. Ball four. Take it it's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no now strikes, high. but Good now at least he gets a fresh start Jeez. against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Abrams, in his second season, 23 years old, a former first-round pick, Back in 2019. Abrams up to bat next. Lays off for ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Ground ball left side, and that's just foul. Vargas, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The bat. The first base. Here's Juan Yepes. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Next offering misses, and that's ball one.
This one in the air. Hoskins moves under it. And the inning is over. Nationals leave one. And our score remains 2-1. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Jacob Barnes. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. So digging in, Blake Perkins. One for two. Number 16, Blake Perkins. And a pitch. That one misses. Ball one. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Robert Garcia up and loosening in the pen. And a pitch. That one's in there. And a count even at one. There's a swing and a drive. Ramirez going back. Pulls it in and the warning track. Thought that was a no doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. Digging in, Sal Fraley. And first offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. Bounce to the left side. Gathers and throws to first. Two down. Now that the catch catch. There it is. Two outs, base is empty. Eric Haas up now for the Brewers. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Right side, and that chance handled to first, yeah. and that'll do it. Offense held a check there. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Brewers 2, and the Nats 1. Bottom of the six. Now the left fielder, James Wood. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Peralta back to work. That's the ball. That one's upstairs, ball one. Ball one. The Brewers have some bullpen action. Hobie Milner preparing to come on if needed. Pyams also throwing. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. He's under it. And there's one away. Up next, 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 next. The and next eight. will be the cleanup hit. Harold Ramirez. Ramirez. That ah, one oh. finds the zone. Go strike ball. one. one well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks one pretty ball. good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Home team down a run. Here in the bottom of the sixth. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Makes the catch. Out number two. The bat, number two. Second now it's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. Garcia. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Next offering is outside. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Now he breaks his back. Ortiz slings the first, and that is that. So they go quietly there. We're through six full. It's the Brewers two, and the Nats one.
And we're back. New inning getting started. Up now for Milwaukee, Andrew Monasterio. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Liner, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now that Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Next for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. And there's a foul ball. And he deals. And the slider just misses. The pitch. Foul ball there. Monasterio on at first. Nobody out. And now two and two. One down. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Next for the Brewers, Reese Hoskins. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three run game in the blink of an eye. Ramirez makes the catch. The bat at number 99. That's a big hit. Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez now, one for three. Just off the outside edge. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Now move to first. Yeah, he's and he's there. back in on a dive. Two and all to Cal. Here it comes. Swinging a foul straight back. Two on hammered, but foul. Two outs. High chopper to third. Sends it across to first. And that is the inning. Milwaukee leaves one. They lead it 2 1. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Joel Pyans. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, one run game, oh, 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 oh. and here's the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Oh. And that's outside, and that is ball one. And a good eye there. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swinging so a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2 1. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Back to him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Side. And a full count now. Alex Call up next for Washington. The line of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. 
kicks and deals. And he grounds one to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. He made the pitcher earn that out well, after a long at bat. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Call in the box now. Take strike one. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Next no, pitch just ball. misses. And a count one and two. That's a little bit low. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count off at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Wouldn't chase that time. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And the right hander deals. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The 2 1. All three. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And the 3 1. Got the back going to soon at strike two. One run game, one out, one on. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. I mean, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. New pitcher now, Aaron Savali. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Ildemaro Vargas digging in for the Nationals. His home and away splits there. That's out of play. And that one fouled off. That misses. And it's one and two. One out. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning, and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something, pick up his teammate and his club. So the lineup flips over, and now here's the Nationals' leadoff man, C.J. Abrams. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Oh. And that's outside. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Pitch misses. And now 2-0. Oh. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Good hitters count the 2-0. Oh. And that's outside. 
Juan Yepes waiting for a turn at the plate. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one finds the zone. And now three and one. And it's That's ball four. four. He yeah. missed down low. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about That's creating right. opportunities, That's and this is one of them right here. Whoa. So two down. And now the first baseman, Juan Yepes. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And there's the strike. Tough situation oh right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. And a pitch. Hudson misses. It's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Robert Garcia. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Well, one run game. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. A strikeout and a walk. The pitch. That to right on his way over. Puts it away for the out. The back. The third base. Up now for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. On to first, and there are two outs. The center field, number 16, Blake. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Blake Perkins. Garcia, 27 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. Activity in the Washington bullpen, Jose Ferrer appears to be getting ready, and I'm sure he's feeling some nerves this would be his major league debut. Hers also getting ready. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Late that time, it's strike two. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Foul ball still, one and two count. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Oh. Outside low. It's two and two. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Careful. inning of work there as he sets him down one two three nobody left for Milwaukee as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead back now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Jared Koenig well you see the ERA very solid and that doesn't always tell you the whole story but he's been really good so far this year three four five do up for the home team at the play, no, 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 no. James Wood. Yeah. Whoa. The wide to kick the pitch. 
Ball one, no strikes. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Kevin Williams getting loose out there. The one up. That one drifts inside. Misses there, and that's ball three. Harold Ramirez in the on deck circle for the Nats. The pitch. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted at first base with a quick free pass. No outs. Runner at first. Here's the center fielder, Harold Ramirez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And another ball. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Just missed. Luis Garcia up next for Washington. Pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me out there, dude. But this one wasn't even close. Making a move at first. Coming in to run for the Nats. Number 30. Number 30. First and second. No outs. Up now for Washington. Luis Garcia. So the tying run at second. And he lays one down the left side. Ortiz. Off balance feed. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine. But that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. So a change being made at first base. Entering is the pinch runner. Nassim Nunez. Hebert Ruiz. Now at the plate. Over three with two ground outs and a strikeout. Got a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Step off, throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. At the belt and fires. Goes down looking. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversy with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And here's the DH for Washington. Alex Call, and he takes one right on the black. Strike one. too much. Here comes a new arm for the Brewers, Obi Milner. And if you dig into his walk rate, 
His numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. First and second, two outs. Next to hit, Travis Blankenhorn. Popped up on the left side of the infield. He's under it. And that ends the inning. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. 2-2 game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Now into the game, number 30. He'll be patrolling center field. Number 30. Also entering the game, Nassim Nunez. He'll play second. Pitch hitter coming on, William Contreras. And he's just looking to get something going any way he can here, trying to untie this ball game. As the lefty gets to work. Right side, hard hit. Tosses the first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Eric Haas up now for the Brewers. Right through there for a strike. Down, base is empty. That one out to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The battle Second base. Next for Milwaukee, Andrew Monasterio. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball. No trick. On the ground right side he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it nothing across here this half and 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the night we are tied 2-2 staying in the game on defense William Contreras he'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter and now it's switch hitting third baseman Ildemaro Vargas the third base. The pitch. And that is in for a strike. Going along. And a foul ball left side. Next offering way off the plate. Get on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. And try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That one pulled foul. Hard hit, left side. And a couple of quick outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And now it's Juan Yepes. Right through there for a strike. That 
misses. And one, one and ball. one. one it's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Nope. Just the missed. Way. Ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Trying to send this extra innings. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's 3-2. and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Hoskins. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner, so we are off to extra innings. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. We're now back in a new arm on the mound as we start extra. DJ Hurts. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. So digging in, Jackson Chorio. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base bats. Huh. There's a strike. He's falling behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Here's a one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. That one not close. Two and two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Man at second. That misses the zone. Three and two. Reese Hoskins to bat next. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. That's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speed. So that wasn't the best location with the fastball. But clearly, that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Next for the Brewers, Reese Hoskins. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Runner edges away at second. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. A gigantic blast. His second home run of the series. And they add a couple more. It's 4-2. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Quite the home run, Siggy, as we take it in again with StatCast, 114 miles an hour off the bat. Yeah, and plenty of distance, too. I mean, with that kind of exit velo, if you can get it up in the air with good backspin, it's going to be a tape measure shot. Here's Gary Sanchez now. And first offering is fouled off.
two runs across in the inning here in extra innings. Swing and a pop-up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. One Not ball. close He's with great. that one. Yeah, the count one and two. And He's delivers ball. outside. One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Wood pulls it down, and there's two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. First pitch misses. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in and here in extra innings. Good eye in that spot. And another ball. And here it comes. And a foul ball. The lefty fires. In the air, right field. And that's the third out. Two runs on one hit, the two run homer. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Brewers four and the Nationals two. Now, now into the ball game game. on defense, no, Bryce no, Terang. No. He'll play no, no. second. No, no. Devin Williams into the game. A chance at his first save of the year. Now, pitcher for the Brewers, number 38, Devin Williams. Three, four, five due up for the home team. And now up for Washington, James Wood. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And he deals. Outside low, 1 and 0. Oh. Tying run at the plate. In there at the knees. Late on that fastball. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up at that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got him! One gone here. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Now, here is number 30. The tying run at the plate. Woo. Swing and a miss. That oh, is strike two. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. And he'll two. Swings oh. through it, and that's a strikeout. Now got that. The second so they're down to their final out. Oh, and now Nassim oh, Nunez. Yeah as the Nationals are down to their final out. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins in this situation you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be you just got to hope that you can make contact Williams is just one strike away on the ground right side 
On to first. Oh, yeah. Ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.